everyone. Welcome to the weekly update. I am standing amongst a bunch of tanks, which we have right now, and they are going out the door because it's that time of year. February and March are the two big tank months and things are changing constantly as far as stuff coming and stuff going. Check this out. So a tank that we don't always have in is the 150 extra high. It's really cool because it only takes up four feet of space and it's two feet deep. So you can do a lot with it in a smaller space while still having a really big fish tank. That is just one of an assortment of new tanks that have come in this. Or maybe what you wanna do is take your tank and make a piece of furniture out of it. And we're good with that too. In different colors, in different styles, we have a plethora of a lot of different things. Um, our stands and canopies are second to none. The quality of what you're gonna get is gonna last you a lifetime and I have been told that in the near future, the, the prices are going up on the stands and canopies. So what I have in stock is at last year's prices. If you have been in the market for an aquarium and a nice stand and canopy, you need to do yourself a favor and come check out what I got. Okay, let's get on to the update. Hi guys, Francois Neo at Fishy Business today. And last week we talked about food. And what is food, what is not food. So today we keep going on these topics and the tips of the week, but we look at fresh food. So Reef Nutrition is our supplier here at Fishy Business for the fresh food. And you know the Apex pods and the Trigger pods. So that's live pods you can get in the tank to make your macro fauna grow. That's very interesting. You need to keep doing this and you need to keep adding also feet of fish to grow your pods, but also all your fetos and all your fetal gorgonians and things like that. But for your fish and your corals, we have a lot of things. Ahori, brine shrimp, beta shrimps, and we get a lot of fragger fish and all the arctic pods everything's available here at the store same price for everything it's super clear super easy to use you can use on a small tank like this one like the biocube 32 look at how it's clean look at how it fit the tank so reef nutrition fresh you keep on your fridge very interesting it's still food and this is really the food you need for your cores and your fish so that's where we finish our module with food next week we check on your tips let me know what you want to talk about it and we make a video michael rogers 6859 you are the lucky winner of the foss guard we talked about last week so either get a hold of cat come by and pick it up or we'll get it shipped to you whichever um one of the things i want to talk about this week is a thing that i tend to to talk about a lot and that's test kits and the value of testing your water um, there's nothing more important than testing the water and knowing where it's at. And yes, you can come in and have us test it, but we don't test for everything. And at midnight on an arbitrary night, you may not be able to get a test from us. You need to have a core group of test kits. That is why this week, uh, the winner of the comments is going to pick out whatever Sarah test kit you would like. Um, a single test kit and I can tell you there's lots of different values for lots of different tanks and you need to test water if you're not testing it currently. Hey y'all, it's Diana with your saltwater portion of the weekly update. I got in a lot of cool and unique stuff this week so make sure you come into the store and check it out and come see what we got coming in this weekend. One thing I got in this week that I haven't been able to get in a while is going to be our rainbow wrasse. Now this one is a type of paddlefin wrasse. Um, we'll get up to a max size of about eight inches and is reef safe with caution. He will potentially nibble at your inverse, but he will not touch your coral. Um, so just he, he's relatively cool. Uh, we'll also go with more bigger aggressive fish as well once he gets that size. So the rainbow wrasse, this is our juvenile version of that wrasse. It has a little bit different coloration, but is still just as pretty as the adult. Another cute little angel I got in this past week is going to be this beautiful passer angel. This is a bigger bodied angel so we'll get well over a foot full grown but is so pretty with those striking blue stripes in that orange color. 
another cool thing I got in this week that I haven't gotten in in a while is going to be our Mexican hogfish. Now this guy can get up to 18 inches. Um, will take him a while to get there, but right now he is cute, adorable, and beautiful. A beautiful and adorable nano fish I got in this week is going to be our barnacle blennies. As the name, they tend to live in barnacles out in the wild. Um, in your tank, they're just going to really love any little um, crevices in your rock work and stuff like that where they can hide and nothing else can get to them. Um, during feeding time, they're going to be really awesome. They're just going to dart out, come grab their food, and then go back to their hole that is designated as their home. So they are a great addition to if you have a nano fish tank or if you have a slightly bigger tank and you just want some more action. quick one thing that I want to add especially as people are buying new tanks or people are wanting to refurbish older tanks is that one of the things we're really good here is aquarium design and getting something that is just for you that is just done a certain way and whether it's aquascaping a saltwater aquarium or trying to do something really cool with a freshwater tank we can do that um, Lots of different designs for lots of different size tanks, even right here behind you um, in a 180 gallon tank. There's a lot of different scapes we can do. And if you come during the week, I can spend time with you actually sorting some of these out. Doesn't cost anything to come by and see what we might be able to do for you. So if you need a, a little bit of an overhaul or a little bit of visual excitement for your aquarium and you don't think you have it, Come spend some time with me and I will assure you we'll create something really, really cool. Hi, it's Kevin. I got a lot of amazing freshwater fish for you to pick from this week. We got in several different deliveries. These I really want to show off because these came from a local breeder in South Carolina. I have caboodles, actually several different tanks of these juvenile angelfish in all kinds of colors. They look amazing. Out of the whole batch, I lost zero they look fantastic this my friends is the cream of the crop here this is a gorgeous veil tail aranda that we got in the finnage is just incredible on the fish it has a beautiful wind beautiful body shape if i had a tank for this fish right now at home he'd be in my tank and not this tank but it needs to be in your tank it is gorgeous have in a spectacular assortment of different colors of Nea Caridina shrimp in stock. These are just your regular, more common varieties and a bunch of nice colors. We have these reasonably priced from $6.99 to $5 for $30 for a price break. We also do have some higher grade shrimp available if you're interested. We have in some spectacular koi female betas. The females will get along, as you can see, I would recommend keeping them in batches of at least five or more in a heavily planted tank. As you can see, these koi females, they've got just as much color as the males do. And they also have a better disposition. They do extremely well with most community fish. So you can have a beta sorority in with other community fish. 
have an amazing batch of tank raised Kerbensis from one of my regular vendors. She brought me in some spectacularly colored fish here. The females of the Kerbensis are the ones with the purple in the tummy actually being more colorful than the male, which you don't usually get in the fish world. But a good dwarf cichlid, however, they are a little more semi-aggressive and would make better take mates with barbs as opposed to tetras and stuff like that. because we just unboxed it. I haven't had time to get all the little foam components out of it. Uh, we just got in the new Pro Clears. So there are new Pro Clears now. If you haven't seen them in the last week or two, they are starting to come back in. We even have on the way a Peninsula version. So you definitely want to check that out. It's a really cool room divider uh, that should be here by the time you get here. Anyway, uh, have a great week. God bless. Thanks for watching the video and we'll be back next week.